Well, I'd like to visit with you about uh, the Home Free Bull, who's really an exciting bull in our mind. When I think about Home Free, I think about Henry 101, about selecting for calving ease. He's in the top 1% of the, of the Angus breed for calving ease. When I think about pounds in the right package and, and simultaneously selecting against mature size, he's in the bottom 15% of the Angus breed for yearling hip height. And that might be one of his best attributes. And that, just like his dad, hometown, they excel for those pounds in the right package. But that moderation, you know, we all want, we, we pay, pay bills with pounds. But uh, at some point, you know, that gets to be too much on a, on a cow. And so it's uh, not how big they, they get, it's how quick they get big and quit growing. And so I think that bottom 15% stature is so important for home free and hometown. And I think when we look at, uh, you know, and, you know, you still have to have that growth to where you have, uh, have enough pounds to sell. And you look at that composition of pounds, home free is a top 35% bull for the Angus breed for growth. But the composition of that, he's truly elite for marbling. Uh, I call it a buck 65, he's 1.65 for marbling. But here's where it gets really exciting to me. He's a buck 43, he's 1.43 for ribeye. That is top 1% of the Angus breed. And so, you know, I, I, we're trying to make Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Well, uh, when we look at these carcasses and we look at the demand for beef and we look at ribeye per hundredweight, but ribeye per hundredweight is the key factor in keeping heavier carcasses or any carcasses out of those yield grade four and yield grade five discounts. And a lot of times people will say, well, you know, we got enough muscle and, and um, we're adequate and we're better than we were 10 years ago, but British cattle, Angus cattle, uh, oftentimes uh, need more muscle. And when we get these carcasses, uh, the U.S. Premium Beef Grid, uh, you don't get penalized until it goes over 1,050. And frankly, the super heavies are really where you get pa penalized when it goes over 1,100. But that 1 1.43 ribeye on home free is truly special, and it will truly uh, help those cattle uh, have those pounds in the right package. And so I think that is so exciting. And, uh, you know, hometown has been so vital to our, our business, but home free is the, is the next step in that evolution of, of uh, what can we do. And, and we're not saying he's hometown yet. We're going to validate him. We have uh, several hundred pregnancies, but Henry 101 calving ease, selection against mature size, pounds in the right package, quality pounds in the right package with that marbling and muscle and that limit of stature, that's exciting. And when you look at the, the pedigree, I mean, I think often John Crouch used to have a talk that he called like begets like. Well, hometown is a sire and he's out of one of the elite momentum cows in our history and, and you look at that cow family, Daybreak, and then on back to the 1039 cow, which was Gar Composure's sister, over and over and over again, that cow family, and a lot of people think I don't follow cow families because I name them after the sires. Uh, I follow, follow them a great deal. I name them after the sires so our customers can know that that uh, you know, 1039 was Gar 50-50 new design 1039 that way they know it's a daughter of 5050 but they're elite and they keep coming through decade after decade and as we stack that and we look at the at that f-266 cow the momentum cow that's home freeze dam when you've got 25 progeny on record with a 110 scan ratio for imf and 103 scan ratio on those 25 head for ribeye and that wasn't against the little sisters of the poor. That was against what we believe are the, the best sires available in the Angus breed. Home free is an important bull. Home free is one of the best bulls in my family's history. And we're excited and we look forward to, to his progeny uh, to where we can find a home free son that takes us to a new level. If you would like to order semen on any of these bulls, uh, we would encourage you to email the Ashland Vet Center at ashlandvetcenter at gmail.com. And also there's a dedicated line where you can call 
888-250-3707.